Good evening, everyone. Saturday night, February 4th, 2006, 17. 15, 16, 17, yeah. Boy, time flies. <sighs> so I spent most of the day uh, applying for jobs. Most of the day. For like the last uh, five hours. Because I woke up at, uh, I woke up, it was what? 11, 20. Ah. What a still depressing time we're still living. The economy is uh, barely holding. The world is in shamble. And our source of glorious good things like that. Anyway. Now, right now I'm going to eat some happy food. I'm going to the, one of my friend restaurant which I haven't been in a long time. Yeah, I want some nice chicken, some nice Portuguese chicken. This is where I'm heading right now. I don't want junk food or Subways or KFCs. I'm gonna eat something good today. I always cost a little bit more to go there, but uh, it's really worth it. And uh, tomorrow night at midnight, start my new shift, night shift, the graveyard shift. Oh God, I run everything fine yesterday. I really put my bet that I was gonna win some money. You win some, you lose some. But yesterday, I think yesterday was more of a lose some streak than anything else. Not very impressive moment. Anyway. Tonight I'm gonna do a, a chat session on the forum, the time travel forum that I'm part of. I highly doubt that I'm gonna score something. <sighs> I always dream that when I turn on my when I turn on my computer and I check the internet that there's gonna be some good news. Oh fuck, nobody's gonna go straight. Yeah, I'm always hoping that I have some good news waiting for me, saying like, oh, we want to sponsor you for your project. We want to support you for your project. Yeah, I dream in color. Nobody on the internet would sponsor such a crazy project, especially one with no consistency. I've done this thing for, since 2003, 14 years ago. And I've been longing to redo this project for a very long time. But <laughs> apparently destiny has it otherwise. I'll be done, the moon's there. And is it still, yeah, it's still half moon. Somebody was asking on the internet yesterday, on a, on a French uh, French blog that I am part of, he say like, "Well, if the Earth is not flat, why is the Moon cut like that?" Uh, damn, some people are like so idiot. It's like ah, oh, it's half a Moon and it's perfectly cut straight. So the, if it's hurt like this, that's in front of the Sun. The hurt is not in front of the Moon. The Moon is on the left of the Earth. It's the sun reflecting the surface of the moon. That's why it looks like this. The herd is not in front. It's not a it's not an earth eclipse or whatever. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. It's like he thought that the planet Earth was in front of the moon. And that part of the reflection, the part that we saw lit up by the moon, was like the herd in front of the, the moon. It's like, no! It's like the moon is on the left of the herd. And there's a reflection of it. It's like, seriously. Uh, she's right there behind me. <sighs> space. Why is it so hard to go to space? Why is it so impossible to go to space? It's like, they just make it that hard. They don't let people do it. Technically speaking, 
if there were if people would have their values straight business people they would put all their money on exploring space trying to build spaceship explore space you know first venue nope people are stuck down here wasting their money and time on stupid frivolous shit yeah you have to run the economy you have to be capitalism but seriously it's like we're done already we've done that for like how many hundreds of years so far it's a system that's coming to an end why why not evolving and make something better for ourselves like the human race is still in its fancy like Star Trek was saying at one point when they say in Star Trek the human race outgrows it and fancy no we did not not yet not yet anyhow it's very it's a constant source of disappointment we're stuck down here people with a shitload of skill imaginations are still stuck behind not being able to make a better life for themselves because of uh, you need this you need that you gotta have this paper you gotta have this qualification oh uh, you can't have that this is just like fucking stopped it's a break to your evolution especially mine i got a shitload of imagination and creativity and resourcefulness and like i'm stuck doing like these drones jobs that i hate so much The best I ever heard was like, says is how you have. I just, I've just been busy living my life and earning a living. I'm not millionaire. I don't recall uh, money falling from the skies to me. Anyway, constant source of disappointment, life it is. The optimist will always say, oh, you have to look for the better, the better side of things. Yeah, like Monty Python says on, uh, when they were on the cross, there's always a better side of life. Yeah, there is always a better side of life. It's just that it rarely comes around. 99% of the time, it's all negative. Me, like I say a million times before, the only reason why I want to live in the lottery is to take a break, a resting break. Then I could get to work because I would have funds. Even if it's 250 grand, that will be sufficient for me to pay off my debt, get a break, and then get to work, get to work on the project, rent a workspace and get things done. Not asking for billions of dollars. Because frankly, electronics are not that expensive and making things only requires time, times which I don't have. As annoying as it is, because right now, I'm going to be working the night shift, midnight to 8 a.m. What do you think I'm going to do during the day? Like during the, like then three quarter of the course of the day, well, I'm going to sleep. That's like unproductive time, as sad and unfortunate as it is. Anyway, time for me to go eat something. I'll see you guys later.